There we go. We're getting into it. Ping, hitting the A button faster than he ever has. That's going to be scary for Daigle. To seeing just how fast he's hitting these buttons right now. Three, two, one. Aggressive right away without the 11. I think kind of answering back hard. Yeah, that buff from millions of years ago now when uh, Arcfire was able to travel a bit farther. Uh, definitely work it out for Daigle. Um, that might have been an, an actual S smash, I'm not sure. But... Could have maybe been looking for him off the platform. Nikita right in his face. Daigle wants to go high. Pink looks for low. Grenade's really tacking on that extra percent. They deal a non insignificant amount of damage, about 10. That's it. One arc fire. Let's just kind of get in there and take you out. With Pink, uh, a killer with these Nikitas. Um, already a really strong tool, and Pink uses it very well. Plays out laning back here, too, as well. Dingle does look for these kind of uh, hopeful arc fires where there's not really a, a need for them, but they do work. We are online fire. So, um, harder to react to stuff on both ends, so sometimes it's good to just toss it out there and uh, accept the consequences. As long as you're willing to accept the consequences of your actions, so let's see why not. Didn't quite get it, would have been bronze sword anyway. He's got his book. Toss the book at him. Not too much off of it, Pink with great awareness of his own C4. Big old kind of walk too close to it. It's got a generous hitbox, but you do need to be aware of it. It can be easy to forget too, especially with Robin having all these other things to keep in keep in mind on his end. But as I say this, Pink down to his last stock. And then the Kita starts coming out. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know it uh, beat Arc Fire or Arc Fire. Right now. Ooh, Pink wanted that trade. He's like, fine, just grab me. Go shoot Nikita back himself. But lots of extra credit for Daigle right now. Uh, Pink just obviously in shield. Daigle says, all right, fair enough. I didn't see that. That was a very slick um, C4 on the left edge of the stage there. Damn. Butterfly. Yeah. I, I didn't see him place that. But, ooh, the crawl. Pink could be looking for a grab here. There you go. Up to it. Alright, nice stop. Doable for Pink, but he's gotta, he's gotta be a little cautious of these dark fires. And as I say, here they come. Nice conversion. 48%. I think great with these turnaround B, B reverses, all, all, all these different permutations of uh, grenades, pull, and stuff. It's uh, really cool to see. Trade, not terrible. Only, only tacking a little bit more percent. Oh no! And Pink pulled a Pink and blew himself up with his grenade. It's been it's been some time since we've seen that. Uh, it's still just as deadly. Game one goes to Daigle. As a reminder, this is a best of five. Bands are Lilac, Yoshi's, and FD, Pink, in Fawn. Small battlefield. Lilac and FD are both probably decent bands. Um, if only for having difficulty seeing the C4 alone. Uh, that, can, that can be 
uh, one thing that snakes think about if it's harder to keep track of the C4 visually. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, I got caught with that. And just a couple bronze or little, little aerials here and there. Gotta watch for a good start. It takes 33% to do up tilt. And it's already back to even. Snake just blowing off the right side of the stage. Really blowing it up. Ooh, tried to go for that double arc fire, didn't fully work out. Bursting through with his dash attack. Because we all know dash attacks are only good when they air burst off. Pink really looking for him to get up into this, uh, this war zone that he's got on the edge of the stage there. Nice call to for going high. Said I remember this move. Now. He barely comes out. Good stuff by Dave to get back. That was very tricky. Now. Could be. Oh, went for most Barachi. Fair enough, but probably looking for a uh, short hop. And the snake body side of up tilt took him out. Poke shield tilt going super high. Alright, made it back with the air dodge. Yep, uh, Pink will get these extra hits from the C4 all day. No problem just letting it rip when the timing is right. Uh, I'm pushing it kind of an SD from, from Daigle there. Uh, just trying to do a little bit too much. Dash attack, a little, little risky. And then the percent starts to add on. You start to get a little nervous when you're when you're falling behind Snake. It starts to get a little uh, scary. Nice landing hit. Even caught the crouching Snake. Good, good stuff. Still a bit of a mountain climb though. Yeah, look for that confirmed. You got it. I was lying and wait for quite some time. Yeah, didn't get much off of it. Now he's off stage. Pink blowing himself up, just accruing percent, trying to build his lead. It's only Bronze Sword. Oh, Pink actually got out of that. Oh, and the grenade beats it. Oh, that's, that's kind of annoying, but it's sort of interesting, too. Had a bit of a read on it, but uh, Bagel managed to down smash it out. Pull through. Drifted in with that Nair. Not enough. Get up, so One one. Yeah, pink a little bit stronger with the Nikita that game. And with uh, a couple of just solidly placed up tilts as well. Some good conversions. This we like to see kind of escalated what he was doing. Let's see if Daigle can respond in kind. Let's check out these bands here. Checking out the stage list, seeing uh, what his options are. Yeah, that unfortunate kind of an SD from Daigle as well. Also missed um, Arc Fire into Nosferatu. That would have saved them. I think Snake was actually looking the other way too. Nosferatu uh, leeches more percent from an opponent if you grab them from behind. Um, so that would have maybe healed 30-40%, um, especially because it scales. Uh, you get more percent back the higher your percent is. That would have been uh, pretty significant for Diggle, I think. But. We'll see. It's just these little optimizations that need to be made, these little um, executions that need to occur uh, to really change the battle in your favor. Ready? All right, here we go. Going to Smashville. Get 
crouch under the, the thunder, but not the grab. Kind of a cheeky little beginning. Uh, just go back to killing each other out like it's the beginning of the match again. That's landing down tilt, solid. Yeah, Pink just letting these things rip, uh, hoping to catch Dagle picking an option. Especially with the up smashes, I think it makes sense to just keep them coming out. Um, you just want them to be like saturation fire and not as much uh, calculus. You know. Good choice with the down tilt. Mixed it up a bit. Jab grab. Okay. Tough spot for Daigle. Alright, but he's, he's getting his footing back a little by little. Yeah, I think that, that center platform snakes enjoy. I don't know if, if the good, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume the C4 can hit Robin running underneath it, even at despite the platform being a bit higher. And I have a really good catch. Those up airs are important. Pink keeps you guessing, but if you can hit him, you're really in trouble. Blue the thorn on, nothing really coming of it. Oh, and that actually killed him. The circular pattern just flew right back in his face. Definitely worth the grab. I think Daigle was predicting more DI outwards. Uh, there, I think it's possible that Robin would get a follow up after that grab. Falling up down to. Nice grab. Oh, we really want to. He, he wants that. He wants that F smash. Not as high as normal. You want to if you're if you're the, the player fighting team. You got to figure out some way to get around the key to somehow. Robin's recovery kind of susceptible to it as well. All right, two one. But if you have your fighting snake, you want to really keep track of how many resources he has left uh, after he catches a ride on the cipher because that then you can kind of start to zero in on what his habits are like, okay when he's like out of options he tends to neutral air dodge when he's like closer to the stage or it's like okay he'll reverse with grenade and then go to ledge um, just these little uh, choices that they have to make looks like they're running back to Smashville Three, two, one, winner of this fight's end the beginning again. No grab this time with the dash attack. Wasn't quite as effective, and Pink starting out really strong. Uh, got a huge opening right at the beginning. Daigle kind of trapped on this platform. Hardest tech the master is getting down from those platforms. Ooh, I thought he was going to go for something uh, stylish, like a uh, forward air or something. But just, just playing it calm. Nice, cool, collected. Got through, got through the, the violence, and caught him with that. He said, hey, you got next match? I got one too, bud. <laughs> I got one too. Uh, not fresh, but it'll certainly take take a snake stock. Kick them to heaven, right to heaven. Back to even. Little catches by these grenades can really... Uh, escalate and get out of control. Maybe like spending more time in disadvantage than you would expect off of just that one exchange. In the air, that up air, the sour spot. Really went for that hard landing read. Uh, didn't quite get it, but it didn't cost him that much either. Still on the ledge here. Cover low. Yeah, keeping the grenade pressure up, actually hit himself, played some grenade catch with himself and lost. That's for Atu, there it is. Oh, it ended up working out horribly, but I still like it. And, and 
pick with these Nikita kind of uh, counters, essentially, uh, where he takes a hit, and it's like, well, fine, mine hits harder. Tournament stocks for Daigle here. Let's see if he can uh, find find his kill on Pink. Pink really walling him out. Just op is he rolling away? What's Robin gonna do? Run? Robin can barely move. Yeah, free punish, hopped right over there. Snake back air elongates himself so it gets harder for the like the, the ball point of uh, Arc Fire work. Oh nice! Caught him, just believed in himself, caught him with the back, and good stuff by Pink. Moving on to Fight Ender. Really nice.